The days right before any football game are crucial, not just for the team, but also for the coach, who has to build strategies, choose the best players for the game, and prepare them efficiently, both mentally and physically. It's a tough job, which is why some coaches need a helping hand. But no one expects an astrologer to play assistant coach. It sounds bizarre, but this is not a fictional story. It happened for real. The coach in question is a man called Igor Stimak. He's India's national football team coach. Reports say a few days before some crucial games, he consulted an astrologer. He based important decisions on astrological insights. Now, questions on integrity and propriety are being raised, and one does not need an astrologer to predict that reaction. Here's more. It was Thursday, June 9th, 2022. Only 48 hours remained before India would face Afghanistan. The two countries would battle in the Asian Cup qualifier. It was a crucial match. India needed to win to remain in contention for the championship. India's national football team coach Igor Stimach knew just how high the stakes were. So he asked a dear friend for help. He dropped a text message saying, Hi dear friend, you can check charts for each player from the list for 11 June. Kickoff time is at 20.30. Within hours, a response came. The name of each player against adjective, heavy remarks. For one player, the remark said good. For the next, very good day but might get over aggressive. For another, not recommended for the day. Who was on the other end of this conversation? Stimach had texted an astrologer, Bhupesh Sharma from Delhi. Yes, same vibe as Seema Taparia from Mumbai. One is an astrologer, another is a matchmaker. One working on the playing field, another in the battlefield of love. But do either hold any real power? The answer remains inconclusive. The list Stimach was talking about in this message referred to the names of the probable 11 for the qualifier game. Sharma shared his advice for each name. When the team was declared, two established names were dropped. Their stars weren't favourable, quite literally, but mainly according to the astrologer. This conversation was not a one-off. Reports say that between May and June last year, Stimach and Sharma exchanged about 100 messages. India played four matches during this period, a friendly against Jordan, followed by three Asian Cup qualifiers against Cambodia, Afghanistan and Hong Kong. Before each game, Stimach was in touch with Sharma. Reports say Sharma was paid about $18,000 or 15 lakh rupees for his work. Now, sports figures are known to be superstitious. Their rituals can be funny, gross or even downright creepy. For instance, tennis star Serena Williams doesn't change her socks even once during a tournament. Men's basketball coach Jerry Takanian constantly chewed on a towel during games. And baseball player Moises Alou urinated on his own hands before games. Some also refer to astrologers. But here's the thing, when a coach does it to take crucial decisions that affect a team and a country, it can quickly go from bizarre to problematic. Stimach's messages raise some big questions. This isn't only an issue of integrity, but also propriety. Crucial team information was shared with an outsider. The All India Football Federation wouldn't be too happy after knowing this. But here's the catch. Stimach was introduced to the astrologer by a top AIFF official. As of now, neither Stimach nor the AIFF have commented on the reports. Now, we can't predict what they would say, but we don't need an astrologer to know that it would surely be interesting.